你好，朋友。我叫老师。Hello, friends. My name is Lao Shi. Can you say your name? Say 我叫 Then your name. Go ahead. 我叫 Great job. Today I am going to start a series of read aloud books. The first book that I'm going to read is one of our favorite books of the school year, *The Great Race*. *The Great Race*: The Story of the Chinese Zodiac, and it's written by Don Casey and illustrated by Ann Wilson. So I hope that you can join me for all the videos that I make, so that we can continue learning Mandarin Chinese throughout the rest of the school year. *The Great Race*. The Story of the Chinese Zodiac, written by Don Casey and illustrated by Ann Wilson. Many moons ago, the people of China had no calendar. With no way to measure time, nobody could tell one year from the next. Something must be done," said the Jade Emperor, the King of Heaven. I will start a calendar and name each year after a different animal. But how can I choose which order the animals should come in? I'll hold a race. The Jade Emperor decided. Yes, a swimming race across a wide river. I will name the years in the order that the animals finish. The first year of our new calendar shall be named after the winner. He invited every creature in the kingdom to compete. Back then, Rat and Cat were the best of friends. They journeyed to the river together in great excitement. But when they arrived, their spirits dropped. The river was strong and swift. It rushed past with a deafening roar. And just look at all the other animals! Wailed Cat. High above, circling in the sky, soared a creature with the head of a camel, the horns of a deer, a long beard, and eyes of fire. Dragon. Below him, tiger prowled back and forth, swinging from tree to tree. Was monkey chattering with excitement? Snake was coiled around a branch. Rat thought she looked very calm. Close by, ox waited patiently. Pig was wallowing happily in a pool of mud, and dog bounded around, wagging his tail. Hare was gazing up at the moon, which was still faintly visible in the sky. Sheep sat watching cockerel preen his fine feathers, and horse stamped his hoofs and shook his glossy mane. I am the smallest animal here," said Rat. "We'll never win," howled Cat. Rat was silent. But his whiskers flickered and his tail twitched, and there was a gleam in his beady eye. Wait here, he told Cat. I've got a plan. Rat sidled up to Ox. How fine and strong you are, Ox! He said. Your back is so broad. I'm sure you could easily carry one or even two small animals across the river. Cat and I would love a lift. Of course, dear Rat. Ox replied, "You can depend on me." And so Rat and Cat climbed onto Ox's back. The Jade Emperor shouted, "Ready, steady, go!" And there was a great squawking and bleeding and snorting as the animals plunged into the water. Ox swam sure and steady. It was such a smooth ride that Cat curled up between Ox's shoulders. He closed his eyes and began to purr. Rat could still see Pig relaxing near the shore, and soon they passed Dog, who was playing in the water. Come on, Ox! Urged Rat. Meanwhile, Cockerel had spotted something. A raft! He crowed triumphantly. Come on up! He called to Monkey and Sheep. This looks fun! Monkey shrieked as he sprang aboard. But are you sure it's safe? Sheep asked, clambering up. Rat watched the raft wobbling as Ox swam past. Overhead, Dragon curled through the clouds. 
He was too big to swim in the crowded river, so the emperor had told him to race through the sky, braving the winds instead. We're getting closer, Ox, shouted Rat. Keep going. Ox swam on, sure and steady. Now they were catching up with Hare. Hare had sat gazing at the silvery moon for a long time, and it had given her an idea. She was hopping from round gray stone to round gray stone across the river. And then there was Tiger, using all his strength to battle through the currents. Ox swam on, sure and steady. Now we're in the lead, cried Rat. Rat could just see the Jade Emperor waiting on the shore. He looked down at Cat still snoozing in the sun. Lazy animal, he thought to himself. He'll have all his energy left when we arrive. He'll be able to run fast and he'll get to the finish line before me. Quick as a wink, Rat saw his chance. He sneaked up, close behind Cat, and... Pushed! Splash! Ox turned to see what had made the splash. He couldn't see Cat, but he could see the other animals, and they were getting closer. He kept swimming. Just as Ox was about to step onto dry land... Down leapt Rat and darted into first place. The winner, the Jade Emperor declared. The first year will be named after Rat. Close behind came Ox, lumbering into second place. He couldn't believe his eyes when he saw Rat already there. What? How did Rat get here faster than me? Rat may be small, but he is also smart, the Jade Emperor laughed. Soon after, Tiger streaked past. Third, called the Jade Emperor. Next came Hare, then Dragon swooped out of the sky into fifth place. Horse was just about to climb onto dry land, when from between his feet out slithered Snake. Excuse me, horse, said Snake, as she slid into sixth place. Horse thundered by seventh, sheep was eighth, monkey ninth, cockerel tenth. Dog came eleventh, and then Pig. I needed to stop for a snack, Pig explained. Pig is the twelfth and last animal in the calendar, the Jade Emperor declared. Well done, everyone. You each used your own special skills to cross the river. From now on, every child born in your year will share your talents. But what about Cat? Cat was still splashing and spluttering in the river. He was trying to swim, but he hated the water. He just couldn't make it to shore. That is why there is no year of the cat in the Chinese calendar. And why, to this very day, cat and rat are still the worst of enemies. Never mind, said the Jade Emperor as he fished the dripping cat out of the river. You tried your best, and that's what's important. Now let's celebrate. And the Jade Emperor awarded all the animals with a wonderful party. There was dancing and decoration, feasting and firecrackers, and the animals rejoiced and wished each other wealth, health, and happiness. So here you can look at all 12 zodiac animals. Chinese people believe that if you are born in a year that you share with an animal, you will have the same talents or characteristics of that animal. So here you can see if you can find the year that you were born and your animal's characteristic. Can you also find the year of someone else in your family and their characteristic? At this point, feel free to pause the video so that you can take a look at what your zodiac animal is.